everyone, Cherie here. I'm having so much fun as a guest uh, creative team member for Kelly Winnell Stamps this month. And today I'm doing a project using these two fun new stamp sets. This one's called Mini Alpha. I mean, you can use that for so many different projects. Or there's also Donut Sprinkles. Isn't that fun? It's so cute with those little donuts down the side. I mean, who doesn't love a donut? All right, so you can see I've got some photos here with my kids eating donuts. <laughs> so this stamp set is just perfect for this spread. Um, and what I've done is I've had to play around with a few different colors that I have. Uh, I didn't quite have the right pink. So what I've decided to do, since I've got a lot of chocolate donuts in my photos, I'm going to create a little chocolate donut. So all I did was stamped a few different ones, cut out the best one with some scissors, and then I used a hole punch to punch out the middle of that donut. So you can see there it's got a hole through the middle. And then I decided for the sprinkles, I looked through my stash to see if I could find any little tiny circles. Now, when you look through, you just have a look at the different um, images that you have. This is a really old, uh, it's a Probocraft, die uh, that I when I used to have a cuddle bug that's how old this one is and it is Christmas themed but as you can see it's got all those teeny tiny little circles so what I did was got some scrap uh, papers out of my stash and I used that die to cut out these really tiny sprinkles now they are very small I'll see if I can pick those up oh see they don't even want to stick to my fingers but you can see there they're pretty tiny so what I'm going to do is stick those all over my donut so they look like donut sprinkles so that will be a bit fiddly so I'll do that off camera and I'll also go ahead and I'll stick this piece to my background um, I've, all, I've already got the words loves a <laughs> and it's going to say who loves a donut and I'm going to use the stamps and the little donut to finish off this card for this spread so I'll go ahead stick that down add a stitch border to that one I'll stick the sprinkles on the donut and then I'll come back to do the stamping. So I'll be back in a moment. All right, so there you can see my donut is all finished and ready to go. And I've also added the stitching to that card as well. I also decided to add a little row of stitching to the top of that journaling card too. All right, so now I'm onto my stamping and I've got the word who, which I'm using the little mini alpha, alpha stamps for. So that's just going on the top of this card. Then I'll just put my donut into position there so I can get the spacing right for the bottom stamping. And I'm using the question mark from the mini alphas along with the word donut. So I just do a practice stamp just to make sure I've got this question mark nice and straight because I, I did notice in that test stamp that it was a little bit crooked. So I, I'm just fiddling around with that now to get it looking just right. So I'm happy with that. And now I can go directly onto the card. So that's done. And now I can add the donut. So I've got some foam tape behind that one just to add a little bit of dimension there. So that card is now done. And now I'm going to do a little bit more stamping. Now, part of the donut sprinkle stamp sets is two uh, rows of words one says yum yum the other one says donut donut so I'm going to use both of those and then add them to the photos so I'm doing a, a little stamp there uh, on that strip of paper and silly me I'm trying to mask off that second word because I want to say yum 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 three times and I realize in the end that I don't even need to be fiddling around with this masking it off. All I need to do is stamp it twice and then trim the end off. But I did persist, persist with the, <laughs> the masking. In the end, though, I wasn't happy with that third word. It was a little bit smudged. So I go ahead and this is where I realize, OK, all I need to do is stamp it twice and trim off the end. So that's what I'm doing now, just using my scissors to cut that down into a strip and then I can add that to the photo. So I'm just sitting it there for now so that I can decide on positioning for that. And now I'm doing the other little row of word that says donut donut. So again, I want it to say donut three times. So I'm stamping it twice and just trimming it down with my scissors. 
Okay. So that will go along the bottom there and that's when I decide just to move it on that top left photo. And I just use some double sided tape, some really thin double sided tape to stick that one down. So I'm just putting that on there now. Okay. Now this is when I decide that the one that I put on that top left photo, I wasn't quite happy with the stamping. It was a little bit smudged, a little bit heavy. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that one again. It's very quick and easy. So it doesn't take up too much time to redo that. And again, I can just trim that down and then it's ready to use. All right. So that one's now done. And I also add the date to the bottom of the journaling card. So just using my date stamp for that. Just doing that a couple of times. And I also decide to um, add a couple of staples to that journaling card as well, just for a little bit of extra interest on that card. And I do need to go ahead and stick that other stamped piece down as well. So that's uh, my spread complete. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this one come together today. I'll pop a link down below to Kelly Stamps. Let me know if you've got any questions. I'll be back again really soon with more to share. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now.